Are you tired of your website being buried on page 10 of Google search? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to outrank your competition. It's improving what's called your core web vital scores. And the best part, you don't need to know a thing about coding or website design. I'm going to show you how to optimize your scores with just a few clicks with a super simple plugin. So let's get started. So we know that the core vitals is important as a ranking factor for Google. So it improves page experience to have a page that loads faster, that doesn't shift around on them so that they can get to reading or digesting the materials that are found on a page based upon their query. So based upon that idea, something else that's super important is to understand just because the page loads very fast and you're passing the core web vitals, that is not going to override having cruddy content. So you have to have good content first. Then you make sure that the page experience is enhanced by all of these other factors, including core web vitals. So here you see the core web vitals on the left. We have loading, interactivity, and visual stability, which we'll talk about in the core web vitals. But on the right side here, you also see it needs to be mobile friendly. There needs to be safe browsing, including an HTTPS, and of course, in here it says no intrusive interstitials. So all of these other components in combination with Core Web Vitals is going to improve page experience. So we need to make sure that we're checking everything off the list. All right, I'm just gonna take you through a quick opportunity to understand where you can really get ahead of your competition. I went to Google, I always use this example for tree removal service in Los Angeles, just because it's a random thing that I picked up. And when I did a search in Google, the number one site that's showing up in terms of a business was this URL and this page in particular. I ran it through PageSpeed Insights, which I'll include a link, but it's pagespeed.web.dev. You can use this to look at the core web vitals. You could also use Webmaster Tools as well inside of your console for your website. But in particular, this is the tool we're going to use for our measuring. So when I stuck that in here, we could take a look at number one, the mobile. The mobile performance is very poor. It's a 31 overall. Accessibility, best practices, and SEO, not too bad. So this is where the opportunity lies. Mobile traffic is picking up dramatically. It's very, very important to make sure that people are having a good experience on mobile. When we take a look at desktop, desktop almost always is at least going to be a little bit better. It's relatively easy for websites to get a good desktop ranking. It is much harder to get that mobile uh, performance. So when we drop down in here, it's going to give us an idea of all those specific parameters for those core web vitals. Number one is the first content uh, full paint, 7.5 seconds, dismal. Total blocking time, 620. Speed index, 12.7. The largest content full paint is 15.9. That is horrible. Okay, it's very, very slow. So this has got a lot of issues here in terms of opportunities to save time on loading for this. This obviously is going to create a very bad indication for page experience. But why is it ranking? Well, probably because of the content on the page. So if you're a competitor in this niche and you have equal good content and you're smashing it in core web vitals, then you're likely going to have a much better page experience than this competition. You have a much more likely chance of ranking higher in Google if everything else you have set up properly, having backlinks and so forth. Okay, so now that we understand the importance of passing core web vitals and improving page experience, the next step is figuring out how to actually do it. So as you scroll down underneath here, it is going to give you the opportunities under the page speed insights of what needs to be changed. But honestly, it is just looks like an alien language. There's so much stuff going on here. Coders will know how to do this, website programmers. But we're looking at things, for example, reducing unused JavaScript, minifying code, JavaScript, et cetera. There's all of these different things in here that is going to require a lot of specialized expertise to implement this. So you have a couple of options here. Number one, you can outsource it to somebody who knows how to do this stuff. And let me tell you this, it can be quite pricey. And some of it is very complicated, and it's going to take a lot of man hours, so to speak, in order to do this. That's certainly an option. It is pricey. But there is another solution. Another solution is to use a plugin that will do all of this for you. Okay, And the one that I'm going to recommend is 10Web. 
If you're not familiar with TanWeb, I've talked about it a few other times on my channel with different types of things that it does, but it's an AI-powered WordPress platform, has a lot of cool bells and whistles to it, and one of them is the PageSpeed Booster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the optimization section to where the PageSpeed Booster is. Now what it is is a plugin and the goal of this is to eliminate these speed related issues to improve your core web vitals and also offer what's called full website caching to help your pages load faster. And what we can do is we can go down here to this button and we can grab this thing for free. So we're gonna click on that and what it's gonna do, it is gonna go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded and you have your account set up, we're gonna go over to the website. I'm gonna show you a couple of things here and show you how fast you can make this tool work. Okay, I'm gonna use a site here in particular. I call it my dummy site. And I just set this up with a very common popular theme called Javelin. And it's one that is, I'd say, a pretty good looking site, but very common for what we would see. A lot of these kind of moving elements and images and so forth in here. I think it's a good test because it's pretty standard for a lot of the way that websites are currently designed. So what I did is I grabbed this URL, that's my dummy URL, and I went over here to PageSpeed Insights. Now this can be run inside of your 10 web uh, dashboard, but I just wanted to continue using the same tool you'll see here in a second. So once I ran it here through PageSpeed Insights and analyzed it, this is a fresh theme on a website. So of course it's gonna be a little blank, but you'll just see also that where these things usually start from, and you can see it get optimized with the PageSpeed plugin. So when we go over here and we check the mobile, first and foremost, the performance is a 46. So overall, it's got some accessibility that's okay, best practices SEO, but the overall performance is not good. So as we scroll down here, we see the first content full paint, 5.2. Largest content full paint, 6.0. It's still even better than that uh, tree removal service website, interestingly. Blocking time is in the green, that's okay, but the speed index and the cumulative layout shift is both not optimal. If we go to the desktop, the desktop is also underperforming. It's not completely horrible, but of course it should be much better. We wanna get as much of this stuff into the green if we can. And that's going to depend upon your theme and a lot of other factors as well, okay? And also your host, that's important too. So when we scroll down here, we see that those scores aren't as bad as we saw in the previous one, but mobile is the most important thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our plugin uh, working and let's see what happens. Okay, so as usual, we went and added a new plugin and then there it is right there, the 10 web booster. Now you should have your tab open for uh, 10 web. So, cause you had already signed up in your account. If you just click activate, it is immediately going to take us into 10 web. So from here, you won't see this anymore, but I'll click on this and it's gonna do its magic. So I'm gonna click on that guy and you're gonna see that it will actually open me up inside of 10 web to continue this process. Okay, so there it is. It opens up right inside of 10 web and it says your website's being optimized right now and it says optimizing front end. And of course, it's gonna go ahead and compress all of those images as well. So I'm gonna pause the video and let's see what happens afterward and see what kind of results we get. Okay, and our page has optimized here and here is where we're at. So right here, we could see that before optimization, we had a mobile score that was about 45. The loading time was 7.2 seconds and the desktop score was about 70 with 1.2 seconds. And now we see where we're at here. Mobile score is now up to 80. So we've dropped that loading time from 7.2 to 3.3 and the desktop score 1.2 has gone down to 0.7, which has gotten us a green score. So it has gone up. You see here, what I love is that they'll tell you how much it is. It's gone up a 78% improvement in loading time here just by using the 10 web booster uh, plugin. So interesting to note here, we have not used the CDN yet. So we have not uh, connected with Cloudflare. So as we add Cloudflare, we're going to get this up even more but that is a 78% improvement right there just by using the plugin. This is awesome and I didn't even touch anything, did not even dive into the code, didn't go anywhere near it, and just by installing a, plug a plugin and, and applying it, this is the result that we get. 
All right, so that about wraps up this video. I urge you to get a hold of 10Web's page speed boosting plugin, optimize your website and your core web vitals and start outranking your competition. Of course, as always, I'm gonna include a link that you can go to below this video in the description and in the comment section as well. Be sure to thumbs up this video, comment, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that little notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.